overslept. What happened to my wake-up call? Tell the front desk no call. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta go to court, no, Todd. Go to court. You're not going to court. What do you think we're gonna start without us? Huh? I'm not going anywhere. Delgado's most important client. I can assure you she will not mind if you ring through to her room. Have you got any idea who I am? <laughs> the operator hung up on me. What's wrong? Our attorney, Taya Delgado, your good friend, refuses to answer her phone. Why would she refuse all calls? Uh, she has a hearing to prepare for. They is probably just uh, taking care of business. <sighs> Thea will get the upper hand. She always does. She damn well better win this case. Well, she will. She will. From what you told me about Todd Manning, there's no way we can let him get custody of those kids. So you know, this doesn't change anything. I wouldn't have any other way. I am serious, Todd. You better watch out. Oh today, yeah, you better I'm get coming serious. for you. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. You do what you have to do. Aren't you sweet? You have the sun delivered to your door. <laughs> yeah. I like to start my day with a little piece of trash. That's very funny, coming from a woman who's about to get her ass whooped. Oh, yeah, by an attorney who got his JD from a law school he found in the back of a matchbook. When you're done laughing, why don't you choke on this? <coughs> Lost our sense of humor, have we? You're disgusting. Do you know that, Todd? Well, that's not what you said a minute ago. You're parading your kids on the front page of the paper. And you're trading off the murder of a young police officer. Hey, I'm just stealing a page from your book, Cookie. Remember, it was your idea to trash Lee Alpert in the sun, and she buckled. Yeah. She also died. Oh, that wasn't my fault. No. Because nothing is ever your fault, is it, Todd? No. Except what's going to happen to you. Taya! Taya Delgado. Okay. I know you're in there. Hello? Dorian, <laughs> what a surprise. Taya, what is going on? You're not dressed. You're due in court in 30 minutes. I will be there. Okay. Well, while you're getting ready, I uh, think we better go over your plan of attack. Uh, uh, now, you know what? Now is not a great time. Really? No. Well, mm. Why not? Oh, I see. And just who has been compromising you and our case at the same time? Huh? <laughs> Dorian, what I choose to do in my private time is none of your business, okay? Says the woman who isn't even dressed yet. Mm. I am paying you to represent my family, not to get it on with R.J. Gannon. R.J.? <laughs> oh, yes. I saw the two of you together last night. Please. R.J.! Hi, honey. I mean, if you choose to reopen a rather empty affair with someone who threw you over for Todd Manning, I mean, have you no pride? Okay, say goodbye, Dorian, okay? Just tell me this isn't going to affect your performance in court today. Well, trust me, I am all fired up. Great. Okay? Great. Great. Go in there. Mm. Bruise him. Oof. Pummel him. Oof. That's right. Grind him. Grind I'm him. I'm gonna grind into him. Into the ground. Done. Into the ground. All right, I will call you when the judge gives his verdict. That's right. Okay. Call me with the good news. I will. I say. Oh, you like that? 
You will really like what I'm going to do to you in court today. Oh, that's scary. Oh, come on, Todd. Don't tell me you're not shaking in your boxers. What are you shaking in? See you in court. All rise. Oh, you didn't know, did you? Judge Henson had to recuse herself last minute. Why wasn't I informed? Well, they called my guy. They were supposed to call you. Oh, God, that's right. I had to hold your calls. Be seated. Mr. Manning, you've asked the court to revisit the custody arrangements for your children. I've only just been given the case file. In which case, Your Honor, may I suggest that we reconvene at a later date? That won't be necessary, Ms. Delgado. I'm up to speed, but thank you for your concern. Now, oh, <clears throat> Mr. Guthrie, let's hear it. Why should Mr. Manning be given custody of his children? Well, Your Honor, the circumstances surrounding this case yes, yes, drastically uh, changed. Yes, they have. The, the guy uh, who was awarded custody has been arrested as a serial killer. Is that the cat there? Is that the one that says meow there? No, it's and that's a cat. It, it, it is the one. I thought that was the one. Any it's luck? I made my point. So you're going to uh, go to the hearing? It's a closed hearing. So I just think that I'll spend some time with the boys and with you. Objection, Your Honor, the state has not proved that John McBain is a serial killer. That's what all the papers are saying. The paper you publish? What a shock. He's been accused of three murders, Your Honor, not to mention attacking my kid's mother. You've been on trial twice for equally heinous crimes. And Your found Honor. innocent, Your Honor. It's okay. <clears throat> Your Honor, I love my children very much. Love? What do you know about love, Mr. Manning? Your children hadn't seen you from May of 2008 to January of 2009. Yes, that's true. Whose uh -huh. fault is that? Yours? Oh, no, that's right, because nothing is ever your fault, well, is it, your Todd? fault uh -huh. is that a serial killer has custody of my children. Your uh -huh. Honor, this woman arranged a bogus marriage between John uh -huh. McBain and No, no, no. Ms. Kramer and Mr. McBain had a long relationship before their marriage. And the fact that you were responsible for your pregnant daughter falling down a flight of stairs, the fact that you involved your toddler in an automobile accident while he was in the front seat of your car, not in a car seat. Oh, that didn't prove you unfit and lose you custody. No, no, it's never your fault. It was that Blair married another man. Ms. It's never Delgado. your fault, is it, Tom? Ms. Delgado? Yes. We are here to settle custody. Keep your personal issues out of my courtroom. It's clear to me that Mr. Manning, while far from an ideal parent, has a valid argument. So does my client, who is unable to be here today. Or to care for her three children, is that correct? Temporarily, which is why her aunt and her mother have agreed to care for the children. I've read the transcript from the previous hearing. Blair Kramer's mother was only recently released from a long stay in a mental institution. Yes, but she is fully recovered, And the Your aunt Honor. is Dorian Lord, whose history is as checkered as Mr. Manning's. Now, you've met the criteria that the court laid out last year, Mr. Manning? Oh, yes, you mean the uh, anger management and the therapy, yes. How was all that? Well, I learned quite a bit about myself. Uh, I'm a passionate man. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I've had to really learn to control my impulses. Your Honor, like if I may... I no, no, you <laughs> may not. <laughs> now, okay. my predecessor decided in favor of your client because of the stabilizing presence of her husband, John McBain. Now, whether Mr. McBain is guilty is moot. He's fled the jurisdiction, which gives me no choice but to grant temporary custody of the Manning children to their father, Todd Manning. All rise. Did you sleep with the judge, too? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Should've taken the deal, nigga. Dorian. Oh, oh Taya, you better have good news for me. Sorry, Dorian. Dad? I knew it! I knew it! You'd come! <laughs> you want 
tell her or shall I? I am so sorry, Dorian. No. There was nothing I could do with John being arrested and then you breaking out of chance. prison. Sam, it's time to come today. Let's go. You harm these children, and I will destroy you. Yeah, right. I'm shaking. Are you shaking, Jay? Aunt Dorian? Aunt Dorian, what is going on? I got custody, Star. It's time to pack up and move out. We're going to be family again. <laughs>